right, Chris. How you doing? I'm doing good. I, I see the office is coming down the street. Chris, I just want to ask you this question. What? Is, why are you wear pajamas every year? Why am I in my pajamas every year? All right. People have asked me this question before. And the simple explanation is, when I was a little kid, they had the parade at night. And they actually had it a little bit later. And so my parents would dress us in our pajamas, and we would come down and see the parade, and then we would go home and go straight to bed. And so that's why I still think of parades and pajamas together. Okay. I, I just wanted to ask that. And why are you first. not in your pajamas? Well, first of all, you know, it's just... It's just me, and uh, I, I don't wear pajamas sometimes. Oh, I understand that too. <laughs> so we're, we're here. They come. We're here, and uh, the the parade is slowly inching its way towards us, and this is very exciting. Yeah? Oh yeah, I love this um, I night. I wasn't in the Christmas spirit until I got down here tonight. How you kid? You? For real? Well, I've been in the Christmas spirit all day. I've been working since like one o'clock this afternoon. Oh my goodness. So I've really been in the Christmas you spirit. You have been busy, and. And old Scrooge uh, came through for the Christmas fair for me. Did he? Yes, he did. did, did what what did, he, did he do for you? He allowed me to have a little bit of fun before the Christmas parade, and I love him to death. He know it. I know, and uh, I know that we're speaking of our good friend Phil Spinner, who is the program manager for Adelphia. Most Channel definitely. 6. My best friend. I love him to death. He know it, too. Yeah, but, you know, sometimes he does want to keep uh, a lid on us because we might get out of control. So Can I ask you a question I understand that. real fast? Sure. Is there anything you're going to say to Santa Claus this year? Because I'm stopping him, but you asking him. I understand that you're going to stop Santa and you're going to ask him a question. No. No. I'm going to stop Santa and, and, and you're going, going to, to ask, ask him a question. question. That's right. Oh, okay. Well, I do have a question for Santa, but you and our viewers are just going to have to wait until the end of the parade because that's when Santa comes. And we're just hitting our first piece of the parade Well, right here. you know, here come, uh, here come Lynchburg Finest on their Absolutely. motorcycles. And they're on their find, I uh, believe, the BMW motorcycles. Beautiful, beautiful motorcycles. Chris. Very nice. And, of course, every year the parade is put together by the Lynchburg JCs. That's right. And this year's parade sponsors are the Retail Merchants Association, oh, yeah. First Virginia Bank, Erickson, Old Country Buffet, and Timberlake Flower Shop. All right. Now, of course, uh, right behind the police officers, we have the EC Glass Junior ROTC, the, uh, the Air Force <laughs> ROTC, and you got to get that straight, that's for yeah, sure. Yeah, you most definitely got to get that straight this year. And Let's as usual, they first. are kind of putting a little show on for us. Let me see. Here they come. This is our ROTC group right here that you see on the screen. A nice bunch of ladies. Now right behind them is the Grand Marshal for this year, Chris, which who, is... Who's the Grand Marshal this year? You won't believe it. Who? It's the Big Hill Cat, Southpaw. Oh, okay. And I uh, believe that's Southpaw right there, and uh, we've all seen him on... Uh, I wish I could talk on, to ...on TV before. <laughs> hey, Southpaw! We also have two junior Grand Marshals this year. And who's that, Chris? And we have William Shepard and Whitney Hall. And William Shepard uh, is an eighth grader from Holy Cross, and he was chosen from the area middle schools in the art category. You think I can talk to him real quick? I don't know that you'd be able to get over that. I fast. don't know. Hold on. Well, Vadar is very quick, and he's going to slip over and see if he can get a quick word with uh, How you doing? William Shepard. I'm Shepherd. doing good. And what's your name? William Shepard. And what school do you go to, William? I go to Holy Cross. Holy Cross? Regional, yeah. And you are the junior grand marshal of the parade this year, right? Yes. Thank you very much, and you have a nice Christmas. You too. All right. Well, that was our junior grand marshal, uh, William Shepard. He won for the art category. And then right behind that is Whitney Hall from Stanton River Middle School, and she wrote the best essay on my ideal Christmas. Should I get Whitney? Uh, I, uh, Whitney is cruising past you. Uh, I think you've held up the parade fast, long Chris. enough. Right uh, behind them is our buddy. Mr. Steve Newman. He's our state senator. Hey, and Steve. A big supporter of Channel 6, always has been. And then right behind him are the folks from the Lynchburg JCs, the Vice President, Jeff Clore, and the President, Dave Wright. And who's this coming up behind him, Chris? Well, this is Dave Wright. He's the Lynchburg JCs President. The Lynchburg JCs have been organizing the parade for 40 years. 
Now we have a oh, great float right behind them, and that's from the Retail Merchants Association, one of the sponsors of this year's parade. And, and Chris, you know the you know the most beautiful thing of this parade is that it's just all lit up at night. You it know? is beautiful. We've had the Christmas parade at night now for two years, and we just love the fact that all the lights and it's sparkling, and actually this year's Christmas uh, uh, parade theme was uh, lights. Well, this is so we'll see lots of lights. Oh, yeah. That's a beautiful float. Oh, it really is. They've done a nice job. And Chris, here's my one of my favorite bands in the whole state of Virginia. But that wouldn't be the EC Glass Marching Band, would yes, it? Yes, it is. I can't believe it. He shows favoritism, kids. I know he does. EC Glass. What a great job. And that's a hard thing there, marching in a parade. Uh, especially some some winters it's been very cold for the Christmas parade, but this year, hmm, what is this, Florida? I don't know, Chris. This is real lovely out here tonight. It really is. And we have a float uh, uh, coming up behind the, well, of course, we have the EC Glass uh, truck. That helps them with their support equipment all across while they're traveling. But then we have a float behind them, and that's the Virginia Skyline Girl Scout Council. Those Girl Scouts, they work hard. Make sure you support the Girl Scouts in Lynchburg, Virginia, with, when they do the Girl Scout cookies. Oh, we love the Girl Scout cookies, don't that's we, right. Vadar? I truly love them. <laughs> Vadar eats a lot of Girl Scout cookies. All right, Chris, don't tell nobody. That. All right. Oh, look. Oh, they got some, they're playing, oh. Well, the but goodness still sakes, part of this the isn't band. the Girl Scouts no. yet. This is still part of for the, the marching EC band. Glass Marching Band. And hey. Now, they are excited. They are in the Christmas spirit. Now, the thing about it being so dark out here, though, is sometimes Vadar and I will make mistakes, and we are human, eh? Yeah, I'm, I, you know, I don't want to say that I make too many mistakes, but I got to make enough. These are the Girl Scouts, These correct? are the Girl Scouts. Can I get some cookies? Can I have some cookies? Uh, the Girl Scouts <laughs> range from age 5 all the way up to yeah. age 18. Well, what troop is this coming down, Chris? This is Cub Scout Pack 48 from Timberlake United Methodist. Now, this is Girl Scout Oh, Pack. that... Uh, you're seven still looking seven. at Girl Scouts. Yeah, we still at the Girl Scouts. Well, this is the entire... White. Let's go AC White. Oh, Francis Carter. Yeah. Our good buddy. The Virginia Skyline Girl Scout Council is made up of a lot of girls. It's a whole lot right and now. And they pack all of them right in here together. We got brownies. We got Girl Scouts. We got them all We right got them now. big. We got them little. We got a brownie troop. 2003. Mm. <laughs> and these girls are having fun. They really enjoying it. Chris, what is this beautiful float right here? Look at this. Look at this. I think they've managed to cover an entire vehicle with little lights. It is beautiful. Yes, That's it from is. yet another Girl Scout troop. 348. They're wearing lights on their heads. They're carrying lights. Well, here come the Cub Scout Pack 48. And those are the folks that are from Timberlake United Methodist. Okay. <laughs> they are okay. very excited yes, about being are. on TV. See, we are on TV. And that's one reason that we like to come down here, Vadar, because we like to see all the kids and having a good time. Chris, I'm truly enjoying myself. You know, this is our last Christmas parade of the new millennium. And it's, it's just right now, it's, it's just been awesome for the last 10 minutes that we've been sitting here. You remember that that old song, 1999? You know, yeah, gonna Prince. party? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Gonna well, that is exactly what we're doing for the 1999 Christmas parade. We are partying down here. That's right. We've we been are having, having a, a great time. We've been having, if you're not down here, you're truly missing something spectacular. That does remind me, we are live here on the first Sunday in December. So if by chance, you look at your calendar watch and you realize this is the first Sunday in December. Come on down because this is happening. It's happening right now. Oh, no doubt. what a lovely young woman. That's uh, Little Miss Lynchburg 1999, Samantha Lynn Johnson. And she's eight. And then coming up behind her is Virginia Teen USA 2000, Jennifer Hawkins. 
She's a senior at Jefferson High. She is. Well, let me see if I can say hi to Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. And then coming up behind her is Tia Lewis. She's the NAACP Queen representative from Appomattox. How you doing, Lewis? She looks a little cold. Well, she got a mink on. I hope. No, I don't think she's that cold. I think she's she she looking looking real gorgeous this evening. Oh, absolutely. Now, I know this is a part of the parade you enjoy. Yeah, All here the come the girls here twirling the batons. That's right. Here come my sweethearts. You know. And the Timberlake Sweetheart Baton Corps, and it, you know, that group has been around for 12 years. I've been seeing them for the last seven years. Uh, we have been involved with the Christmas Parade for a long time, That's and right. then we have hosted it. This is their third year, and yeah. I believe we already put in a reservation for next year. You're Andre, right. So, I'm so. <laughs> so you know, it's so all if good. you guys want us, and you all can call <laughs> Phil Spinner, you can call Chris, and you can say. Vader and Chris, you know, yeah. what else would you want? That's right. So, Phil, your Phil's home number? <laughs> no, I, I, don't do that. All right. I'm not good about home numbers. But you can call him at the studio. He'll love to hear from you. But, I mean, these girls range in all sorts of ages and all sorts of talents, and it was great to see them perform. What is this, Chris, coming out? Would you believe? I've never heard of this before. But this is the Ladies Luck All Female Four by Four Truck Club. Oh yeah, you think we can get These them to say happy Christmas? These are all women who Can't have four Merry by Christmas. fours. All four by four, Lady Luck All Four by Four Truck Club. Real nice. How and you doing, ladies? They certainly are driving some nice looking vehicles. Nice, beautiful vehicles. Shined up, cleaned up. And wearing their Christmas garb. Yeah. These are some folks that are in the Christmas spirit. That's some beautiful cars. They even have outfitted some of the vehicles with bells. Very, very nice looking. Hey! Fadar just likes socializing with all the people that we have I'm, around us. I'm just having so much fun, Chris. I'm telling you, it, it's just spectacular right now. You know, I, I can't tell you how I'm feeling uh, right now looking to this parade. You know, like I said, I've been doing it for the last couple of years. It's been awesome. <laughs> And now we're going to take it to another level next year. And we're having a great time right now. Because that'll be the first parade of the millennium. Oh. And so we got to do something yeah. special. we got to do something a little different. Now, this is New Life Church, and they're from Monroe, Virginia. And we see, these, we see this church, this church being this parade every year, too, Chris. I think you're absolutely right. And, uh, you know, that shows that they're a strong supporter of the community. They want to be out there. They want people to know. And... I believe that uh, one of their themes is that they welcome people, you know, that, that, that anybody that wants to come should come along come and uh, join them. This. Look on my friend right there. She works at the post office. Now, the great thing about being down here live at the Christmas Parade is that people are coming up to us and they're saying hello. And so every once in a while, we do get a bit distracted. And so uh, you must pardon us because we're having a great time down here. And let me see. Cup Phil Spinner is providing us with some beautiful pictures and our camera crew. And we're going to have to find out who the camera crew is so that we can thank them at the end of the show. Okay. The folks from the Lynchburg Life Life-saving Saving Crew. crew. They got a beautiful truck, Chris. Look at this truck. That is Rescue 9, their heavy rescue vehicle. Nice. That's the second oldest volunteer rescue squad in the entire United States. And then we have a float from CASA. And the CASA is uh, the court-appointed special advocates. Ladies. Those are folks that go in and help out if there's a child involved in a court situation. That's right. They're there to advocate for the child. Okay. That's an excellent program. Chris, what is this unit coming up here right now? This is one of Vadar's favorites. Anybody marching and twirling a flag. <laughs> Heritage High School, what's it? Heritage Elementary oh, School. Okay. Can you believe oh. they're starting early? Heritage they're, they're Elementary ready. Drum and Flag Team. Here we go. I do enjoy the drums. And these are fourth and fifth graders. In addition to flags, they have snare, bass, and trio drums, cymbals, and bells. Look, look. Oh. Now those are Greeks. 
And those Greek, are Greek reindeer. Greek reindeer. Where are they from? From, I believe, Lynchburg College. Lynchburg College. Those hey, are ladies. The different Greek organizations, and they came as reindeer. Yeah. <laughs> and hold on. And Who I believe this? they they have uh, crowned uh, hey. some royalty. They didn't uh -oh. tell me who they were, otherwise I would have been happy to say. Well, Chris, you know. We should be royalty. Hopefully, oh, I love that yeah, thing. Hopefully we're not going to have no snow this year, but just in case. The city of Lynchburg snow fighters are ready. <laughs> That's right. I believe, Vader, that is a young lady driving yes, that truck, is. too. And that just goes to show you, we're good drivers. Hold on. Here come Miss Bronze. That's Miss Bronze hey. right there. Oh. And those are contestants because the Miss Bronze pageant uh, hasn't happened yet here, but these are contestants That's for the Miss Bronze pageant okay. coming up here in the back of this pickup. How you doing? <laughs> that was Brandy, and yeah, she, she loves you. Yeah. I think Thanks, that's so Brandy. nice. <laughs> well, it hey looks ladies. like there's just going hey. to be some lovely ladies yeah. in the Miss Bronze pageant this yes, year. It is. Uh oh, here come, here, 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 oh, here we come know my that favorite, gang. Come my favorite crew. Now, they are slowly making their way up the street, and you know they're going to perform for us. Yeah, they're going to do their little dance. They're coming. Those are our buddies Barbara DuBose and Fam. Melvina, Melinda Smith, yeah, and, and little Destiny, little Destiny, Shania, and Padicia. But well, you got them all down pat. I, I do. I, if it weren't for these cheat sheets, though, Vader, I would have trouble. Because <laughs> thank goodness for the organizers of the Lynchburg Christmas Parade, right. the JCs, because they gave me a list of who was going to be. They've been real nice uh, so far since I've been out here. Um, they've been real nice. Been having a great time this afternoon. Come here, Destiny. Come here. Come here. Oh, it's Barbara DuBose, and she's right, performing right, what, what for us. For Christmas? We got Melvina and Melinda and... A new bike. You want a new bike? Okay. Go and dance with your mama now. Uh-oh. <laughs> now, that's a group that is having a lot of fun. You know, Chris, this is what I want for Christmas right here. If I can get one of these, I'll be... You want one of these? Just to have, just to ride around my backyard. These, of course, are from the Kazim Shrine Temple, and these are the mini truckers. Look at that truck. I like that. Of course, the uh, Shriners are always busy out there helping crippled children. They do so many things all across the country. Chris. They are really just, a, you know, it's an amazing group of people. And then we have some people from the Old Country Buffet. Do you think we might can get something? Uh, uh, maybe they got some, uh, I like that ham. Do they have any? And the corn? No corn? Yeah, we got no. elves. Elves no. and clowns, but no, no, no more, food. No, no more turkey. No more turkey. <laughs> no more turkey. Not yet, anyway. Let me see if they got some food. Hold on. If they got some food, we're going to stop the truck. No, I believe we have employees, but no food. No. But it was it was worth a try. Now, I believe coming up, uh, we have the GE Financial Assurance Float. This is Santa's workshop. This is a beautiful float right here, Chris. We got a whole lot of young people up on here. A couple of adults, but I like this float. Look at it. Absolutely. These are employees and families of the GE Financial Assurance, and, and they, they wish us all a happy holiday. And they really took a time to, like, really fix that float very well. They really did. It's nice to see people spending some time. I love floats. You know, I like the people walking. I like the cars. I even like the rescue vehicles. But my favorite has got to be the floats. Yeah, but I'm, I'm going to tell you, see? These Where's are classic car? muscle cars, man. Yeah, I'm trying to, I'm, it's this car that I seen last year. I'm going to see if it's still in here this year. Now, of course, people who have watched the parade before know that Vedar and I know absolutely nothing about cars, and well, therefore we just go, mm, that's a isn't great that car. a nice car? I'm not a car buff, but I can't. I couldn't even get the colors right. I, I'm this is a nice. That one's one. kind of like bronze. This. I yeah. like that. I like this one. And the cool thing is that these folks, they are dressed to the nines to drive their vehicle in the Christmas parade. And I'll tell you, when I was very, very little, my parents had a VW camper, and I rode in the Christmas parade and waved from the VW camper. Lynchburg Parade. The Lynchburg Christmas Parade. Okay. Ex exactly. Okay, and I was just trying to feel so crazy. So, it really is fun to be in the parade. And who is this coming up? This is, uh, oh, let's see, I got more vehicles. 
this must be the folks from the James River Day School. Okay. And they're like me. They're dressed up in their pajamas. They truly are. Maybe they remember back when a long time ago when they used to come out here at night. That's right. I think everyone should come to the parade in their pajamas. Okay, this is a float from the James River Day School. Beautiful float. Beautiful. Hey. Believe Santa in his sleigh. He's a... Uh, He's fallen off his sled. Did he fall off? I believe that's what that depicted. Now these are folks from the Jubilee Heights uh, Family Development Center over there on Florida Avenue. Yeah, nice, and they're doing nice development over there. Absolutely, they're doing a great job over there. And I'd like to thank Mary Adams. Mary Cause, Adams. Yeah, because she's, she's been doing a whole lot of this great work from over there. Look, they've even dropped us off a little uh, flyer here, and we're gonna, if we get a break in the parade, we're gonna tell you guys more about the Jubilee Family Development Center. But you guys can also just look them up there in the phone book, give them a call, and see how you could help out. Now, Vader, I know you like our love, elder citizens. I, I, I love our elders. Um, one of the things I do uh, throughout our community when time's available for me, is to spend time with them, Chris. Spend time with the elders, you know what I'm saying? Take They've care They've got them. a lot to tell us. And right. uh, those were folks from Runkin' Pratt. Here's the Salvation Army. I recognize the sound of the bell ringing, don't you? And, of course, they're also working on raising a ton of food. And I think if people want to get involved with that, they ought to get their food in pretty quickly. I think that deadline's coming up. Well, Chris, this is uh, WYYD 108. Um, they march they, with they're, somebody. Well, they are marching with the Salvation Army because they've been joined up in uh, helping raise that ton of food together for right. many years. Right. Now here we have a group from the Concord Indians football, oh. and they have brought along a tremendous float. Let me see. Oh, that's just very beautiful. It's Full beautiful of sports-minded hey. youngsters, I believe. Yeah. I like football. I love football too. I would have loved to play football when I was a kid. And it looks like those folks, they, they, have, they would have tangled with me hard there on the football. <laughs> They're having a great time. They're having a real great time. Vader, Big Bird is coming down the street no, on a large bicycle. What no. is that all about? He's not walking this year. No. <laughs> no, it, he seems to have uh, gained a rider. And uh, of course, the big bicycle is from Bikes Unlimited. And okay. those folks have been in business here for many, many years. And uh, they often bring out their big wheel, but they've added a bit to it. And we have a small bird behind Merry the Christmas, big bird. Merry And we have another fine looking vehicle. I think he may have lost his way from the muscle cars. Hi. And then we have Detachment 759 of the Marine Corps League. From this is their color guard and the Young Marine Marching Unit. In this way, Virginia? Absolutely. Okay. These are the Young Marines, and these are folks from the community that uh, become involved uh, with this group, and uh, it looks like they learn a lot of things. Right. We've been involved with the Marines for many years, haven't we, Vedar? That's right. Well, right now, Chris, I want to say hello to my mother, my father, Nelson McCullough, up in Philadelphia, my lovely daughter, Shamia and all my friends right here in Linfield, Virginia. I just truly love you guys. His Christmas shout outs. They've started already. <laughs> in the meantime, we have uh, we see uh, Q here, yeah. which is the Q wow. bear, yeah. the uh, hey. Q99 <laughs> mascot, the big Q bear. Oh yeah, look out. It's an adult contemporary radio station. I, I've listened to it many times. And then right behind that, the very familiar red wagon of America's Promise, and this is uh, from the group Central Virginia's Promise. Okay. Do we have our councilman up there? Uh, councilman hey. Burt Dodson is How very doing, involved Dodson? in that. Okay. Looks like he managed to get uh, one of the folks yeah. from the uh, the city mowing crew to pull his wagon along. He's having a nice time. Uh oh, this is the EC Glass Basketball Cheerleading Varsity. Hey! Yeah. All right. Right on. Absolutely. The 
they're excited. Oh yeah. Bunch of beautiful young ladies. They look real nice today. Well, Chris, this is another beautiful float right here with a bunch of young it people. It is very nice, and I believe that that is from the Dance Creations group. Hey, you guys. The elves are working hard, getting ready for Santa. And this is uh, Kevin Gallier with Jenny, who is uh, Rudolph's unreported twin. All right. Uh, that, that's no reindeer. Somebody's disguised a big <laughs> cat. Merry Christmas. From the Lin City of Lynchburg Utility Group. That's right. Those guys hey. are out there, rain or shine. His, his, his snow. They make everything happen, ha happy for and us. And they love the folks us. from Channel 6. Hey. You've heard of the thin blue line? That's our thin orange line. They're out there saving us from the snow. Coming up behind them is from Lynchburg's First Church in the Nazarene. They have a float, uh, Jesus is the light of the world. Chris, look at this float. Keeping this in with their light theme. All, the, all, all these floats are awesome or what? It is absolutely beautiful. And it's even better in person, so oh. if the parade is happening, you should come on down and you might get a candy hey cane like I just got. Merry Christmas to you. Thank you very much, First Church of the Nazarene. They gave me a candy cane because I might need to uh, use mine. <laughs> And then we have the Knights of Columbus. The Knights organization is over 100 years old and does, get this, a million and a half hours of volunteer work every year. They're spending a whole lot of time away from home. Absolutely. It's a nationwide organization, and we're very lucky to have a group of them here. And then I believe we have a vehicle from uh, Remedy Intelligent Staffing a staffing source here in Lynchburg. Well, the Knights of Columbus folks are causing quite a stir with their candy canes. Ooh, Tootsie Rolls. <laughs> Vadar's trying to get more candy. Let's give it to the kids, Vadar. Let's give it to the kids. That's always a lot of fun. I, I seem to remember that being a favorite part of the Christmas parade, too, was all yeah, the candy. I, I haven't said nothing yet. I'm not going to say that. No. What is this rope right here coming up? Let me see. At least Beto's not begging anymore. These are the folks from Remedy Intelligent Staffing. Hey. Now, they look like some pretty intelligent staff. Huh? Very nice. And then we have, uh, uh, I believe, that's Tiffany Booker, and she is uh, Hi, Tiffany. from the Hi. IBPO Elks of the World. She's a senior in Heritage. Okay. And who is this? Chris? The Virginia State Purple Nurses Council. This is Loretta Irving. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure who's with her. They haven't given me her name. Hey. Merry Christmas to you. I like that beautiful car they got. Certainly is nice. Uh, you know, my favorite part is where I come down the street again. Oh, I see it. There's a band, but just in front of the band, we have a very large dump truck, and I like big equipment. <laughs> it's from Energy Efficient Housing. Now, Vader, why don't we just sit back and relax Thanks. and enjoy the Heritage High School Ooh. Band with drum majors. Andrew Toothman and Kelly Morris. I love Chris. the drum line. Now, was I was involved with the Amherst County 
marching band some time ago, <clears throat> some quite some time ago, and uh, I know it's difficult out here marching the parades. This is a very long parade, and uh, the kids are really putting out their all. So far, it's been real nice. It's been a great, great parade, and we're only about halfway through. We have here the Lynchburg Police Foundation. It's a group of supportive business leaders and citizens who act as an advisory board to promote citizen involvement with the police department. We had Stevie Dovell up there carrying the uh, banner. Of okay. course, Vadar, you and I hey. know a lot of the Lynchburg police officers. I truly do, Chris. And we're, we're quite fond of a lot of them. I know a whole lot of them. I'd like to say hello to the chief, Mr. Bennett. How you doing? Well, hello, Chief Bennett. Uh-oh, they got a K-9 unit here. They do. And it doesn't seem like Greif is very happy right now. It doesn't, but you know something? That dog is... is, is what an amazing... It can do so many things. It's an amazing animal. I'm telling you, don't, don't, don't be fooled by that dog. Absolutely. Wait. <laughs> But uh, I've got to say, you know, the Lynchburg Police Department always doing a good job for us. Chris, Send a shout out to our police officer friends, like John. Yeah, Chris, but I want to say that we have one of the best police departments in America. I believe we do. Okay. Very dedicated. And coming up behind those guys from Churches for Urban Ministry. It's a very nice float theme hey of it. Hey, you guys. How you doing? Hey. Jesus, the light of the world. It's a nice, beautiful float, too, Chris. Churches for Urban Ministry is uh, a group of many different churches, especially right. in the downtown area, that have bonded together. And coming up behind them, Cub Scout Pack 29. This is their 40th year anniversary. That's amazing, man. And, they've been and around for long. They've been around, no, almost as old as I am. I'm not going to say old. <laughs> Uh, older than me, that's what I gotta say. Hey guys! And those folks meet at Peakland United Methodist Church. Okay. And then behind them was the Heritage High School Marine Corps Junior ROTC. They are the 1999 National Drill Team Champions. Statewide? They received commendations from the Lynchburg School Board, the City Council, the State Assembly, Senator Rob and President Bill Clinton. The we're, we're national. We, were we drill, national. National. That's 1999 right. we national. champions. Couldn't ask for anything else more better than that. I believe they we, performed for us last year and they are sharp. Let's see if they're going to do something for us this year. Now these are folks right from Heritage High School right here in the city of Lynchburg. Coming up behind them from New London Academy, this is the third grade. Like, I think they brought the entire third grade because there's enough room for them on that truck. They got a beautiful setup. Look at this setup they got on here. Lots of lights, which we love. New London Academy, third grade. Hmm. They got some Christmas trees, candy canes. We got parents involved. Lots of kids. Chris, we even got some reindeer on it, folks. The theme of it is have a cool Yule. And as you'll see, <laughs> these are some cool kids. Absolutely. We got cool Santas. We got cool reindeer. Hey, guys. We got shades. We got ice. And we got cool. some of the most hyperactive teachers I think I've ever seen. Yeah, real cool. Now these kids are going to remember this for a long time. See that? I saw the Great Dane. Great. Absolutely beautiful. Well, this, this is part of our transit system here, right here in this Absolutely. Virginia. The Greater Lynchburg Transit That's Company right. and their trolley, which is very familiar around the city of Lynchburg, as well as a couple of their other specialty buses, like the one with the big car on the side of it. They got a couple buses like that, Chris. They really do. They're very uh, kind of unique. And riding on the uh, GLTC trolley tonight, I believe that that's uh, the Church of God from Leesville Road. And then we
we have folks from the Trinity United Methodist Church. It's the Carl B. Hutchison Jr. Singers. Okay. Are they singing? Well, one second. Maybe if we get them a little closer, the they'll sing to us. Let me see. Hey, guys. Almost as good, they gave Vadar some candy. It's <laughs> exactly what Vadar needed, was some more sugar. Hey! These guys are having a lot of fun. Look, Chris, it's a beautiful car with a beautiful lady on it. That is a beautiful lady. And that is the junior Miss Lynchburg, Echo Young. And coming up behind her, is Miss Festival of Virginia, Bethany Fleming. Now, as usual, hey it's a Bethany. parade, things hey. change, and I just had to skip a page. <laughs> yeah, we skip, we skip real fast. Look at this If you guys think this is like the national parades and we have scripts in front of us, they would be, what now, Vadar? Wrong. Yeah. So. You're right. We're just out here enjoying well, the parade and having a good time. Well, Chris, we are national for our city, our beautiful city of Lynchburg, Virginia. I feel as though we are national right now. If Everybody the city of Lynchburg were a nation, we would indeed be national. Everybody's watching. We have Luann Hunt from the Recycling Center and, uh, of course, the big bulk pickup vehicle. You can call those folks. you got a big mess. You call 847-MESS. And they will come. They come and, and pick it. it up. That's right. It was 847, right? Yeah. yeah that's you right. guys can read the side of the truck, okay? <laughs> but Yeah. And they come and pick it up, and they take it away. It's a wonderful thing. It, there's no hesitation about that. Of course, the guys from Virgil Naff and Lynchburg, awesome. Kawasaki, Yamaha, and sea -Doo. Look at this. Look at this beautiful boat. Look at Wouldn't this beautiful that be fun, man? That, that's like a giant sea -Doo. You could fit, like, all your friends on it. Three or four. Hey, guys. Motorcycles. This four is fun. Wheels. Next year, do you think we'll, they'll let us ride? I don't know. Maybe we can have uh, cordless microphones. That'd be fun. Yeah. Yeah, Phil, next year, can we have a wireless mic so we can go jump on this Edu? Look at this beautiful boat. Um, one of my best friends won a boat like this. That's a beautiful boat. Shorten your hands. Take me out skiing if I knew how to water ski. Oh, uh, here comes the Liberty Hockey. Liberty got a hockey club? Wait, Liberty University has an ice hockey team, and I they play in it. Roanoke uh, at the same rink where the Roanoke Express plays. That's the first right on, eh? Yeah. Go Leafs! Oh, sorry. I was back to the NHL. Okay. So, I'm sorry. All right now. Uh-oh, -uh, they're going to man. <laughs> this is a beautiful folk coming up, Chris, right now. I mean, it's so many people down here. I mean, it's just like... It is so great to see what a crowd for the parade. And everybody's having a great time. The weather's beautiful. And this is the Central Virginia Community Choral Ensemble, led by our buddy Chauncey Price. And, uh... Let me see. Let me see my friend Chauncey. They are singing, so we're going to listen. They, they truly are. They have a concert coming up. I believe it's on uh, the 19th. Uh, it's a Sunday at 6 o'clock at Trinity United Methodist Church. And okay. you would enjoy going Hold out up. for that concert. Coming up behind them is Team AFCA, their buddy Lawrence Arthur, who wishes me a very Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Lawrence. <laughs> and one to Vadar, too. <laughs> That's a school. And... Uh, here in Lynchburg, teaches many different martial arts, and uh, for basically kids of all ages, I believe they start taking it at about five years old, and right. he has programs in uh, weapons training and basic martial arts. It's a great program. But you know, Chris, Lawrence's son has been a national champion like four times. Yes, and, and did you recognize Lawrence's other son marching in the parade? I did the too. tall young man that waved to me. Oh, okay. Used to beat me up in <laughs> class. Used to pound me. It was 
it was rather embarrassing. But uh, yeah, his uh, his guys, uh, Jason and Jeremy. That's right. And uh, the, you know, it's just a great group of kids. Yeah, that that's him right there next to that uh, dark-haired young man. Oh, okay. They're actually uh, putting on a show just behind us. And uh, our good director, Phil Spinner, and of course his uh, wonderful help in there, A.C. Carter, and Chris uh, the second. What's Chris's last name again? Oh, Oop. Vader can't remember it either. Oop. Faux pas. But uh, they've managed to follow the action that's going on. They have a hard time, Vader, because we're watching the show. Mm -hmm. We're watching the parade. That's right. We're supposed to be watching this TV monitor in front of us. <coughs> we don't. <laughs> We're having too much fun. We're watching the people. We're tuning into everything around us, yeah. and they managed to follow us and follow can, what's can, going can, on. Can you spit over this? Chris, is this the Lynchburg Van Club? I believe that this is the Central Virginia hey. Vans Unlimited. Okay. And they've got five vans in today, all decked out with some garland and some lights. Now, Vadar, not too long ago, I was uh, in Canada, I think a lot of people know, and I have some friends that have a conversion van. Right. And we took that out on the road, and these people know how to live. This is a pick fantastic, a, friends, right? a nice conversion van, very comfortable, nice for a long trip with the kids. You know, sack the minivan, this is the way to travel. That's right. And nice. she's on the phone. This is the 1999 Lynchburg Christmas Parade. And we are watching Adelphia Channel 6's coverage, hosted by Chris Al and Vader. <laughs> and Vader, coming up pretty time. soon, you're going to stop Santa and yes, tell him, gonna, I have a question. Yes, we're going to stop and Santa. And everyone is curious as to what my question is, I'm sure. Now, of course, this is from the United this is States our radio Air Force. Station, the river. This oh, is our radio station. I've just passed the river. Hey. Just passed me. I almost missed them. Ninety-seven point nine, the river. That's I listen right. to it quite often. But what I was looking at on the screen is this miniature, this mini jet. It's a mini F-16. Okay. And I believe that's Sergeant Mark Howard, who is driving it. If I'm not mistaken, Vader, I, I think the thing. It, it would fly. I, I think that it will actually take off and, and fly. I wonder. Well. No, nah, I'm not going to do that. Ask I'm, him I'm, if you could take I'm, it for a little yeah, spin. Yeah, I wanted to see if I can get it revved up. Yeah, Run it up well, Main Street a couple times. I guess we better pay attention <laughs> to what's going on in front of us. This is the Terrific Time Dance Studio. And they've got like 48 dancers out here. Nice, beautiful flow. And they've, they're all wearing lights. Oh, that's real beautiful. They got a lovely covered wagon. Sort of a Western Christmas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, Merry Christmas. Well, they really are outfitted. They certainly are. I, li I like them, the lights on the uniforms like I that. I like that too. They look real nice. I need some of those. Wouldn't that be great, you know, for the Christmas season for us just to have lights all over our clothes? That's right. You truly Vedar right. and I are going out to get some now. And then our buddies <laughs> from Sterling Oil. Oh. Uh, is that Santa up there? Uh, one of Santa's help us, Chris. Oh, I see. That's all and it those is are the right folks now. That everybody's calling when the furnace goes out. That's right, Chris. Chris, you don't want me to stop that truck. I don't think so. No, too much, too much oil. That's And coming up behind them from the Delta Sigma Theta sorority, Little Miss Jabberwocks. We have uh, Lakeisha Valder and Little Master Jabberwock, John J.B. Bruce the Third. They're representing the Lynch Lynchburg Alumni Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta. I'd like to say hello to my friend Swally Don is visiting me here from Martinsville, Virginia. My, my counterpart partner in reference to Video Tracks on Absolutely. the other side. Absolutely. I know that Video Tracks is seen in Martinsville. <laughs> I wish we could show him, Chris. He wanted a shout out so bad. It's all good. Well, we've said hello to him now and he, he should be pretty happy. We love you. Right on. 
we have some emergency vehicles coming down the road and it's just possible that it's just possible that, that we may have uh, heard uh, some radio talk from them. Now just outside of camera range my nephew Jack and my sister Denise have uh, walked up and I'm just going to say hello to them. Hello people. Well, Chris, get on to come over here for a minute. Let me, let me speak to him for a second. Pray to stop. Let me speak to him. I believe, Vado, they've gone on down the road. They've gone to see more of the parade. Yeah. Let me see. Can we, can we, can we, is oh, this the time that... Right there on the screen, we see our good friend Ben Jones, and he's involved in the parade, helping keep me on track. <laughs> he I'm realized right he was now. on TV and snuck out. Hey, come here. Let's ask her what she want for. Ask her what she want for Christmas, Chris. All right. Come here. I want to stop. Let me see. We have a young lady who's come here. Come, come. Hi. Hi, I'm Chris. Hi, I'm Jamie. And I'm Vadar. I'm. Hi. She, she's still Jamie. Oh, it's she's still Jamie. Oh. Oh, Vadar. We're, we're well, Jamie, we, the parade is stalled here for a second, and so we were going to ask, what are you looking for for Christmas? I would like um, a new car. <laughs> I would like a new car too, Vader. I would like one too, but I don't know if we're going to get one for Christmas. We had to pose for a picture. <laughs> yeah. So but it's just like Jeopardy or something. I feel like a star. Hey, Vader, what what are you going to ask? Well, I don't. Well, Jamie, yes. when you get your new car, you're going to drive safely and wear your seatbelt. Yes, sir. Well, thank I you very. Thank you very much. You have a nice Christmas. Merry Christmas, Jamie. Thanks, Jamie. It's always nice when people hey. stop by our set when we have a slow part. Now this float that is just passing with the uh, angels is from Erickson and it was moved okay. from earlier in the parade and those are folks from Erickson and uh, right. celebrating Christmas in the Swedish tradition. What a mess. Now these are the folks from the Delta Sigma sorority that Mr. and Miss Jabberwock, or Master Jabberwock. And then right behind them, from the Emergency Nurses Association, the Seven Hills chapter, we have some nurses on a float. And they have small children. It's an emergency over here. It's an emergency over here. I got a nurse at hand right now. If it's an emergency, we got one at hand. We are set, man. They're having a nice time. Yes, they are. The young people are so beautiful. On the the theme of their float was car seat safety, which right. is very important. You must wear your car seat, Chris. Do you you wear must your put the kids Do in the car your... seat until they're four years old. Do you wear your seatbelt? And then they should just, you know, wear their seatbelt. Yes, I always wear my seatbelt. Otherwise, the Evington Volunteer Fire Department right. might have to come and save me. How y'all doing? And for the young people that's listening to me right now, if there ever is an emergency, make sure that you dial 911. Absolutely. And now we see folks. I believe that this is from... Well, I can't quite read it. I believe One the photo is from One Valley Bank. What a beautiful float. I love they that snowflake. I love, I love that too. Very beautiful. Hey. And they come in up behind <laughs> them is the T.C. Miller Show Choir. The T.C. Miller yeah. School for Innovation. Merry Christmas. And they've made jingle bells. Out of Coke cans. Yeah, I wonder. What, I thought it was. I thought it was Coke because you know I haven't seen my truck yet. But your truck is coming. Let my truck say. is your truck coming is down the road. Yeah, your truck is here, and I haven't seen mine yet. Coca Cola, one of my favorite beverages, just after water, because of course we all have to have water to survive. That's but right. the the Coke truck is my favorite vehicle in the parade, next to Santa's sleigh, of course. Can we get a case of soda? Vader's trying to get us a two-liter. 
Fedor's always that's looking a, out for us. That's a big, beautiful truck, too. Yeah. Now, I believe that these folks that we see now are from the Rising Sun Baptist Church. Oh, where is church? Uh, this is from Mama, Virginia. Merry Christmas! And the Rising Sun Baptist Church is singing. All right. They've gotten a lot of folks out here tonight. Merry Christmas! It's just been a lovely time right here this afternoon. This is great. Each of the different Sunday schools has got their own vehicle. And now coming up, another one of our favorites, because we love the music oh, in the most parade. Definitely love the music. And this is the Shorin Ryu. No, it's not. This is the no. Kazim Shrine That's right. Oriental Band. Chris, we, we, we do them. have... We see them every year. They, they are definitely a uh, supporter of the Lynchburg Parade. They work and play to provide help for the Shrine Crippled Children's Hospitals and Burn Institutions. Coming up behind them is a 1950 Ford Custom owned by Mr. and Mrs. Ernest Thompson from Thompson Heating and Cooling. How you doing? That is real beautiful too, Chris. Very nice. Now we have a large tractor trailer here, and these folks, they seem like that they're dressed in karate costumes, so that must be the Shorin Ru Karate from the Hunt and YMCA. In Lynchburg, Virginia? Absolutely, the Hunt and Y is right over there on 12th Street. Oh, okay. It looks like we've Merry got Christmas. instructors and students Merry and Christmas. folks from the Hunt and Y. Oh, they smiling and everything. Look at that big truck. Well, this is pretty early in the parade. We are announcing the parade from Main Street now. And yeah. so this parade wraps all the way around up Fifth Street, down Church Street, where it's going to end up with uh, free cookies from Old Country Buffet at the market while they light the Christmas tree. Well, Chris, I think that we need to get down there when we get finished the parade. Maybe so. We have uh, had the Riffmont Avenue Baptist Church. They've got a Christmas program coming up uh, this coming weekend, December 10th, 12th, and 13th. Uh, the musical, the, the Christmas Post. Is that with the gingerbread? No. I, I, Is that with the there may be a gingerbread in there, but I believe that you're wrong. Okay. I think maybe Shamia needs to hear some more Christmas stories so that you could refresh them in your mind. Chris, I'd like to say, send a shout out to the guys and the ladies that's on the lockdown here in Lynchburg City Jail. I'd like to say hello to them and hope you guys just have a Merry Christmas. Absolutely. The float that we have here is from AAA Transmissions. Friends and family of Roger Childress are on this float. She's perched oh. right up there. The Boy folks from AAA Transmission, very generous with the candy, now have become Vedar's favorites in the parade. They're truly my favorites right now, Chris. Then we have the senior miss, Erin uh, Hildreth. And I think we remember her from the Children's Miracle Network Telethon hey, on Channel 6 Aaron. this year. And then uh, some characters from the Student Activities Board at Lynchburg College. Lynchburg College in the house. We had mice. Can we talk to one of the mice? I don't think we have time to talk to mice. Okay. Do you realize Santa is coming down the road yes, even Hold as on. we speak? Let me make sure I'm right. Yeah, make sure you're ready because we got to take off and ask questions. It 
what a great float from Lynchburg College. The Student Activities Board is always busy creating something to do to keep those college kids out of trouble. I just love all the lights on the floats. Well, Vadar is getting ready. Okay. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, Christmas. Santa I might will not, be coming. I might not Merry see you Christmas this year. Um, we have, I'll probably be home in Philadelphia this year. My parents, my daughter, so. I understand. Have a happy new year. I don't know what I'm going to do this year. Well, you're very hard to predict, I've found. But I have a feeling that I'll be at home for Christmas with my family. Hold it. And I will be here in Lynchburg, Virginia, in church New Year's Eve. I'm not playing no records nowhere. It's nice to know what you'll be up to. I believe these are the folks from We're Coleman Adams, Adams Construction. Yeah. They got a nice, beautiful big truck, too. Hmm. Very nice. Of course, those are our buddies from Coleman Adams, uh, Buzzy Coleman, Cliff Coleman. Very strong supporters in the community. And then coming behind them, mm, now that, that's a truck. And it's full of Marines. This is the Marine Corps with their Toys for Tots program. And right now is a good time because what, it, what happens here, Chris, is Toys for Tots help young people or young children in our community that might not be able to receive anything for Christmas to get something for Christmas. So we really need to, if you listen to me and Chris right now, to support the Marine Corps Toys for Tots. That's right. There are Toys for Tots barrels all around the city of Lynchburg, and I believe there's one even at Channel 6, or you can call for more information. But it is a great program. It's hard to believe, Vader, that there are kids out there that might not get anything for Christmas. Merry Christmas! Ah, <laughs> oh, Chris, it, it's almost here. All right, I look good. I, I love the Marines. The Marines are happy I'm back in Lynchburg. Uh, and then we have the Lynchburg Fire Department's Technical Rescue Team vehicle, followed by the Lynchburg Mountain Women Horse Group. Well, hello, Santa Claus. How y'all doing this year? You doing great this year? How you doing, Miss Santa? I'm just fine. This is a beautiful night. Well, San Santa Claus, Chris have a very important question to ask you this year. I, I, I do. I have a good question this year. Santa, what do you want for Christmas? Oh. Health, wealth, and happiness. That's a good one. How about Mrs. Santa? Anything special for you? I just want everyone to be happy and have a wonderful new year. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I got to talk to Santa. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Vader, that's so cool. I got to talk to Santa. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That was, that was real cool. This was great. Vader, we have had such a great time at the parade this year. I'm telling you. Here, Vader, I'll let you have your mic. And we're going to get back down here because we've got a lot of people to thank. Before we say goodbye, Vader, tell us who was in the control room tonight. All right, Mr. Phil Spinner. Thank you, Phil, very much. Um, AC is in the control room, and Chris is in the control room this year. Good job. Y'all did an excellent job. Well, what we're saying here is that uh, they have turned off my microphone, and so now I have to share yours. Oh, well, that's great, Chris. <laughs> I'd, just like to, I'd just like to thank everybody uh, for supporting the uh, Blinsburg Christmas Parade. Uh, thank you, Chris, for being part of everything, and, and really being part of my life. You've really been doing a whole lot in helping me this year. Um, we've been having a great time down here. It is so crowded, so packed. 
uh, all sorts it. of people, and they are all now running up to Church Street to see parts of the parade <laughs> again. Sad. But uh, you and I, the parade, I'm afraid, is over for us because we can't grab all our cameras and run up the street. So. Well, and Chris, can I say one more thing? I'd like to say Merry Christmas to my brother Blake Nassie and his best friend Eldar. Well, I know both of them. I'd like to say Merry Christmas to those guys. I also have a few Christmas shout-outs of my own. Uh, of course, to all the crew here, because the camera guys and the grips. The, you know, we had BJ, we had folks playing music even before the, the well, we whole trying, parade we, started. We were trying to play some music. Have, have a uh, we Christmas 1999 up, Christmas man, party. Yeah. Because people were excited right on this corner. And I think people could feel that energy when they came through. But I want to say Merry Christmas to... All my friends here, my family, and you know, all of that. But uh, say a special hello to my friends in Canada who will see this by tape, of course. But uh, to Dan and John and Joel and Bart and Nancy and Ange and everybody who I may have forgotten because, hello, my mind, excuse me. I like to say Merry Christmas to my mother, my father, Nesbitt, Early McCullough from Philadelphia, my lovely daughter Shamia, my brothers, my nieces my nephews, all my aunts in Philadelphia. I truly, truly love you guys. I will be home for Christmas. I am so excited to know Vader is going home for Christmas. <laughs> I, of course, will be home for Christmas because Lynchburg is a beautiful place to live. That's right. We'd like to say thank you for tuning in to Adelphia's coverage of the Lynchburg Christmas Parade for 1999. And Vader and I will be back next year. Yeah, Chris. Hear yeah. that, Andre? Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm not going to say it like that, but Chris, I, I believe that we are going to come back. Uh, I want to do the first Christmas parade of the new millennium, uh, try to have some fun, try to do, always try to do something different. Look here, guys. We see you guys next year. It's been great, Chris. All right. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas Bye. to you guys.